Okay, y'all. So some days ago, I heard the word alignment. I had no clue what God was saying. I had prayed about it, and um, I still didn't hear anything. Yesterday, well, actually today, not yesterday. Um, yesterday would have been last night, but in the wee hours, y'all know how I get up in the midnight hour being tugged on by the Holy Spirit. This was more of a rebuke for me personally because I know in this season God has been calling me to more um, more intimacy, more, not that I don't have a relationship, but there is clarity when you come into divine alignment with God. And I want to share that today because I literally fell asleep in my prayer closet on the floor at three o'clock, four o'clock in the morning. My question to you is how aligned are you to the counsel of God's call to you on your life. And I say that because so many people seek for things. We seek for what is our purpose or we we have an idea of what we what we want our life to look like or what we want to accomplish in life. And we constantly seek that. We seek um, where's the next for some artists? Where's my next gig? Where's the next big gig? Who can connect me to somebody? Who can connect me to somebody? We seek for these things, but are we aligning our spirits with the counsel of God? And um, for me, it's making room for God in our lives consistently. And this has been a theme that God has really been tugging on my spirit about being consistent and getting so much clarity. When you are so aligned with God and the spirit of God, that is so clear that you don't have any questions, you don't have any reservations or you're, you having dreams and you can, you can discern what God is saying with your alignment in your life. For me, it was learning the patterns of how God speaks to me in my life and that's what he did for me and i can only say personal um but it, there is a pattern in how he speaks to me where i know it's god like that 3 30 when i'm up at 3 30 that's him there ain't nobody but him well, what, what you want to say lord okay when we are fully aligned with the spirit of god and the things of god um, that's when we begin to step into our identity. And when you become aware of your identity, you become a huge threat in the spirit realm to the enemy, to the kingdom of darkness. Um, it, it's disruptive to the systems of the kingdom of darkness because you are are enlightened you are in clarity of your true identity and what your true purpose has been here this whole time and satan does that that's why we are a lot of times when we get in so much warfare we get an attack because the more we become aware or come into christ the more god will reveal to us and align us with that purpose with that destiny and we become in alignment with God. When I heard alignment, I had no clue that God was saying to me personally that I must posture myself to hear clearly from him. Sometimes like this whole week, the last two weeks, I'm hearing words, but I wasn't postured enough to hear it clearly. I was like, Lord, what are you saying? Why do I got to ask you, what are you saying? You should know, woman of God, you should know what I'm saying. You should be connected to your source, woman of God. A lot of us are not connected to our source, which is Jesus. We connect to him once a week. We connect to him twice a week. But the connection of being getting clarity of our alignment. Alignment is key in this lifetime. I would hate to live this life and never be aligned with what God had predestined me to be. I think about, uh, what's his name, Joseph Child? I think it was Joseph when he was arrested and he went through all of that. Regardless of what he was going through, God was still aligning him with his purpose and his destiny. Although he didn't see it. Oh, see, now I'm preaching to the saints. So although he couldn't see it in that moment, although in those moments it wasn't clear to him, it wasn't in reach, God was still aligning him 
to his divine purpose to rule over many. And so many times we deal with that, man. We, we are attacked just like Joseph. We are attacked. We can't. And when we get attacked, I can't see nothing. When I'm attacked, I can't see nothing, Lord. I'm, not, I'm, I'm in my bed for about two days, to be honest. What I loved about Joseph is although he was put in those different positions and he didn't even know that this, these positions was aligning him to his true destiny and was aligning him to the source, which is God. Um, what I loved about him is although um, he, he didn't realize he was being aligned, he was still consistent. He was, he was consistent. He was consistent in that, uh, <laughs> when they locked him away, he was still consistent in there. He was like, well, I don't know, but let me tell you the dream. I think the dreaming, he was consistent in his gifting. He was consistent where God had him. Oh, this is a preach. I didn't know this was gonna turn into a preach. When people think they're preaching, they're really not preaching. Like, ma'am, ma'am, you're saying you're saying stuff that I could have conjured up. Okay, make room for him in your life daily, maybe hourly if you can. Every time you think about it, what I'm starting to do now is put memos on my phone. Um, the Holy Spirit told me to get me a prayer book and begin to write in my prayer book reminders and prayers. We have to make room for the Spirit of God. We have to make room for the Holy Spirit so He can align us correctly. You don't want to be half aligned because some of y'all saints, you're half aligned, you're half aligned. But we must become fully aligned in the fullness of what God has purposed and destined for our lives. That's the video, y'all.